Despite being a country at war, Russia has seen its GDP grow significantly in recent years, and thousands of developments have taken place across the country. Technological innovation continues to thrive despite its isolation from the West, and many projects are planned for the future. In this video, we present the 10 biggest mega projects in Russia that will be implemented in the next few years and will have a significant impact on the country. Number 10. Electric Car Expansion the importance of electric cars has increased dramatically in recent years, and countries such as China have opened numerous factories not only in their own country, but also in other countries around the world. After Russia launched its special military operation against Ukraine in 2022, the country's economic indicators have seen a decline in car production. As a result, Russia and China have begun to bring their car production closer together, and China has begun to build factories worth billions of dollars in Russia. These factories will not only create new jobs, but also provide a more sustainable transportation alternative for people and help the country transition to greener energy. In the future, BYD or Katlorkalb are planning to build additional factories in the country. In 2022, about 1,800 electric cars were sold in the country, and by 2024, this number will increase to almost 3,000, also showing the country's interest to electric cars. Number 9. Vostok Oil Project Russia is the world's third largest oil producer, producing more than 10 million barrels per day, and the second largest gas producer, producing 701 billion cubic meters of gas per year. There will be more projects of this kind in the video, but let's take a look at one of them, one of the largest in the world. The project will probably increase Russia's GDP by 2%, at least that's what the initiator Rosneft claims. However, this requires drilling thousands of wells in the region, then building ports and transporting the extracted oil to countries in Asia and Europe. However, the project also has a problem, we are talking about one of the coldest areas of the country, and not many people live here in winter. Therefore, in addition to the oil infrastructure, they also want to build two airports, a nuclear power plant and 15 villages so that they can easily move workers to the site. The entire project is worth $150 billion. Number 8. Yamal LNG The next project is also a natural gas facility, also located in the Vostok region. The facility began operations in 2017 after several years of waiting with significant Russian state support, and so far it has proven to be the most successful LNG project in Russia. That is why they want to create a second facility on the other side of the coast, and the facilities have been under construction since 2019, and they plan to spend $21 billion on them. By the beginning of 2025, two large gravity-based structural platforms have also been placed in the region, but the placement of the third one is likely to fail, mainly due to Western sanctions. There have been times in the history of the project when operations had to be suspended for a while because they could not bring enough tankers to the region to transport and sell the liquefied natural gas. Number 7. Look to Center 2 and 3. The next project is being built in St. Petersburg, the second largest city in Russia, and a part of it is already completed. This is the Lichta Center, in the middle of which stands the tallest building in Europe, the Lichta Tower, which is 462 meters high and cost $1.8 billion to build. Yes, but this was only part of the project, and the Lichta 2 and 3 extensions are still to come. Lichta Center 2 would even break a record, as it would include the construction of a 702 meter high tower, which would mean that it would become the second tallest building in the world, surpassing the height of Murdoch 118 and approaching the Burj Khalifa. Look to Center 3 would also be a skyscraper, although it would be smaller than Tower 2, as it would only be 555 meters high, so it would not break many records, but it would remain the second tallest in Europe. Number 6. Northern Latitudinal Railway The 9th and 8th places in the video were a huge oil facility, and if you were paying attention, I mentioned that the Vostok oil project needs to build several airports and facilities to move things around the region faster. The solution to this would be the next investment, which would create a 707 km long railway line, which, when completed, will transport up to 24 million tons of land condensate and oil cargo. The construction date has been postponed several times, most recently in 2017. It was promised that it would be completed by 2023, and at that time the price of the investment was estimated at 239 billion rubles, which is equivalent to 3 billion dollars, but in 2022 it was announced that the government had suspended the project and would focus on developing other areas. Number 5. 
Arctic ships. By now, it should have become clear from the video that Russia uses the Arctic Ocean route quite often to transport oil and as an alternative route to other global shipping routes. However, this route is very icy and requires special ships to operate. Therefore, Russia is building a whole fleet of such vehicles, adding 100 new ships to the current fleet. These ships are special, in many cases they even contain their own nuclear power plant inside, and they can operate in conditions of up to minus 50 degrees Celsius, and they can operate all day long for 7 years continuously. In addition, of course, they can break the ice, creating a path for themselves. Currently, Russia has 7 such ships, but in the future, as I said, they will increase this number. Number 4. Power of Siberia the power of Siberia, also known as the China-Russia East Route Natural Gas Pipeline, involves the construction of a pipeline between Russia and China. As you can see from the video, the two countries are keen to work together, and over the past decade, they have brought this cooperation even closer. While China provides cheap products and possibly technology to Russia, Russia provides China with raw materials, such as gas. The length of the pipeline is 3,968 kilometers and is estimated to be worth around $70 billion. The total weight of the pipe is 2.25 million tons, its diameter is 1,420 millimeters, and nine compressor stations will be built along the route. The route itself starts from the Chianda field, and partly goes to Russia, then crosses the border to China. Number 3. Moscow Metro Expansion the Moscow Metro is one of the most beautiful in the world. Currently, the network is 525.8 kilometers long, has 300 stations and more than 7.5 million people travel on it every day. The network consists of 16 lines, one of which was opened not so long ago, while a futuristic metro station was also opened in 2024. Currently, 44.2 kilometers of sections are under construction and more are planned. Some of these are completely new lines, and some only include the construction of a new station. The latest expansion will be ready by 2029, but these are only the expansions currently underway, and anything can happen in the future. It is certain that the Moscow Metro is constantly developing and is considered one of the best networks in the world. Number 2. Moscow Kazan High Speed Railway in one of my previous videos, where I introduced the fastest trains in the world, I already mentioned Russia's high-speed rail network, which currently operates between Moscow and St. Petersburg, and the Siemens Road trains are capable of reaching a traveling speed of 250 km per hour. However, in the future, there are plans to further expand this line, namely a 762 km long line with 15 stations. The investment is estimated to cost $36 billion and was originally planned to be completed by 2023, making it the first section of a transnational railway line that would eventually connect Moscow to Beijing over 7,000 kilometers. The trains are planned to be the same Siemens Valero trains that operate on the current high-speed route, but there has been talk of ordering Tulgo Avril trains and developing Shinkansen-based trains. However, in 2024, Russia unveiled its own White Jur Falcon, which is expected to reach speeds of 400 km per hour and could soon enter production. Such trains would significantly reduce travel time between the two major cities. Number 1. Luna Exploration Program Russia has always been at the forefront of space exploration, and this is perhaps the area that can absorb the most money. This is no different today, and the country is preparing a new program to continue its space exploration activities, namely the Luna Exploration Program which is intended to explore the Moon. This initiative will consist of several parts, and its essence is to send a new rocket to the Moon to carry out research activities there, and to remain competitive in the region in the field of research, in addition to the rise of China and India in the international space race. Furthermore, in recent years, it has rightly been raised that the country is not investing as much in space exploration as in previous decades, and this is also intended to improve this. These were Russia's mega-projects. What do you think about them? And do you think Russia has a chance to remain a dominant player in the global international space in the future? Write your answers in the comments and subscribe for more similar content. Thank you for watching, see you in the next time.